Hey y'all, I just woke up, uh, had a dream about the final judgment of Christ. Uh, so the dream was a long dream. And for some reason, I don't remember none of the dream before this last part of the dream. And so I was walking, it was like there was this this white lady I was walking with and uh, I don't know her age or anything but we were all you know it was like a dream like it was the whole dream I was being interactive with different people and I don't remember it was like a long dream but when we came to this last part it's like we was walking walking and then we all got separated and then I was just watching and I was basically like it was basically like a courtroom and I was like one I was just sitting in the in the stands or on the sideline looking. Basically, I was looking at uh at the white lady that I had been walking with. And so then it was like a loud a loud speaker came on on uh, you know, like above and you could hear and she was walking forward and what was following her behind her was some people probably angels who were hold oh i don't know who they were but they were holding up you know how people have protest protest posters well these people had like big posters like that but on the posters, it had every evil deed, or every deed, but every evil deed that she had ever done. So it was saying that, at, it was like, so the loudspeaker, the person who talking, it starts saying, she was, uh, she was a murderer, a child molester, uh, and I don't know what else, but it was saying that. And then it was saying, uh, when it was saying those things, it was like, she was a child molester, and not to be let in. Um, she was a, a, a murderer, killed, she killed kids, and don't let her in. Uh, and uh, so it would, every time it would, it, it would, it would come up off her evil deeds, it was like, these are deeds that cannot be forgiven, basically. And basically, she about to be judged for these. Uh, and then it was one act that she had did when she was nine years old. She had killed a kid or she had molested a kid. I don't know. I don't know. She's nine years old. But she did something at nine years old really, really bad that wasn't to be forgiven. And the person that was on the loudspeaker was like, yeah, and they talking real calm when they talking, this person on this loudspeaker, it's a very smart, intelligent person there, but they like, yeah, and she, uh, she did a molested child at nine, killed a child at nine or something, and uh, she, she is not, she, she wasn't too young. They was like, she wasn't too young. She was nine, she wasn't too young, and she got, and she got judged, and she will be judged. Uh, and then it was like, like I say, the, the board was full of, of her deeds and this and that. It was just like it would have been written down every time she did something bad. And every time she did something evil, probably good too, but she wasn't going to be forgiven. Obviously, this was a, a woman who hadn't walked with Christ. She hadn't walked with Jesus, so her evil deeds were not going to be forgiven. And then it was just some things, deeds that she had done that I don't think if she had believed in Jesus, regardless, she was going to be forgiven for him. And when they said, oh, she she was, she was a molester, and uh, and that it was like an X, a big red X would come up. And, and uh, so that pretty much, uh, pretty much was the dream. It was a long dream before that, but I don't remember. Uh, None of the rest of it, just pretty much that we were walking together, uh, probably just in normal society. And then at the time that Christ come, 
and uh, puts everybody at the, at the judgment. And then she went through the great judgment. Um, and she was about to be judged by the jury, which is Christ, Jesus Christ. Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. And it was, yeah, but um, nine years old, not too young. It was, it was people that was demon possessed in the Bible that was like, you know, eight, eight, nine years old. So uh, 12 years old, like, so kids, you're not excluded from obeying the Lord. Um, the Lord destroyed. Uh, it was some kids that was making fun of his prophet, uh, what was his name? Elijah, not Elijah, uh, Elisha. I think they called him Baldy or something like that. And a uh, pack of bears came and immediately and ate him up and killed him, killed the kids, like 70 of them. And so uh, that gives you a lesson that, you know, don't watch your mouth when you're talking about God's anointed. Uh, Cause they, they didn't physically do anything. They made fun of him being a bald head. Um, made fun of Elisha being a, a bald headed person. And God sent bears to attack and rip apart these kids. So kids are not uh, obsolete from the judgment of God. So when this time period comes, whenever it comes, and that, that great judgment of, of Christ comes, kids will not be excluded you was nine you was nine years old you was old enough to know right from wrong you was old enough to choose the way of the lord and you chose not to and i think he i think god is sending the message that although he has mercy and, and grace it's some things he's not gonna forgive you understand and especially if you didn't believe in jesus as your lord and savior so I don't know if this woman was a, I don't even know, I don't know if she was an unbeliever or not. I actually don't, I don't know. It's just things that we wouldn't know that she did in her past was being revealed to everybody. I'm, I'm a witness and I'm getting to see everything is brought to the light. All, everything that she's done in the darkness brought to light, and, you know, and they all follow her, all behind her. You know, big old white board, like I say, protest white boards with all her deeds on them. A lot of them. It wasn't just one. It was a lot of them. It's people carrying them behind her, showing what it was. So I love y'all, man. Hey, just want to uh, share that with y'all. You know, stay away from the, judge, the great judgment of Christ. Get down with Jesus and, and uh, God and Jesus. Get down with God and Jesus. Uh, God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, the three in one God. Get down with him before it's too late. Uh, and you have to go through that judgment, man. So, love y'all, man. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for listening. Peace.